At the beginning of the story, we are shown a ship named Viking in the middle of the sea. They came to catch fish because there was an archery competition in their city the next day. The captain of this ship is Halvar, who sees his enemy's ship in the middle of the sea on the way back. His companions also explain to him that it's okay, you ignore him and move on, but he is furious. He takes his ship close to his enemy to fight without listening to anyone. As the two ships collide with each other, a sword and a squirrel fall on their ship from the enemy ship of Halvar. It turns out that this sword is magical, Halvar's enemy is going to attack him to get the sword. The team of Halvar's enemy is huge. If they fight here, Halvar would have lost for sure, so his companions asked him to run away from here as soon as possible. Halvar also runs away from there this time, but the fish in his ship have slowed down his speed. He now attacks his enemy's ship using these fish, keeps them away from him, and comes out of his house at such a speed. Finally, his life is saved from his enemy, but when he comes home, his life is not going to be saved because his wife is angry because Halvar did not bring fish for tomorrow's competition, from which he was going to get money. Halvar's son is shown who wants to be part of the Viking ship with his dad. Here we discover that the competition of archery is only because the winner will be part of the Viking ship. Halvar's son had practiced hard and was sure that he was going to win so he tells his mom, don't worry, I will win tomorrow. On this, his mom says, son, remember, whether you win or not, you don't have to be sad. The competition starts the next day, everyone aims, but no one's aim was on point. Now it's the turn of Halvor's son, and it is shown that he put an arrow in the bow and pulled it and on the other side. The middle of the boat is hit with the right aim, but this is not done by Halvor's son. Halvor's son's arrow is still in his hand, and this attack is done from behind. Whoever it is, he is more talented than Halvor's son. He also aims now, and the target goes right on the arrow. It means if he had also aimed, this competition would have won, but his dad didn't give him a chance, and this thing made him sad whoever won this competition. Havar is celebrating the victory of that boy while his sad son picks up the same magical sword from his ship. He don't know the reality of the sword, there was rust on the sword at the moment. When he cleans it, there is something written on it. On the other hand, we see that Havar is now telling his new assistant about the same sword. When Havar shows him the sword, this boy is surprised and tells him that this is the Sword of Odin, which has the power to turn anything into gold, but no one knows how to use it. Meanwhile, Halvar's son says that the method is written on it, but Halvar ignores his son's words again. Halvar's son takes the sword from there, and when he uses the sword with the help of the method written on it, the sword begins to show its magic. A hen was now made of gold. Everyone was surprised to see this, and starts trying to get that golden hen. That's when people realize that they should get the sword, not the hen. If they get the sword, they will turn everything into gold and the fight between them begins and in all this, everything present there turns into gold. Now we will all remember that there was also a squirrel with the sword. When the magic of the sword is done on that squirrel, it doesn't affect the squirrel then the sword comes in the hand of Halvar. When Halvar tries to use its magic, its magic goes opposite because his own wife has turned into a golden statue. Seeing all this, the people there become sad because Halvar's wife was a good lady. Halvar also wanted to make her human as soon as possible. Meanwhile, his assistant tells him that you should get more information about the Sword of Odin. This sword can make her human again. The history of this sword tells them that many years ago there was a king who made a magical sword and gave it to his son. This sword gave strength to his son not only this, but anything could be turned into gold from the sword outside his city. It is known that there were two sons of the king and there was a fight between them about the sword. Odin sent them between humans in the world until they cannot be friends with each other. Neither they can't come back to their world nor can they use the powers of this sword. Halvar's son says, what does this have to do with us? Just tell us, can my mom be fine or not? The boy says, yes, your mom can be fine and says that we have to go to such an island to make them human from where the door of Odin's world opens and by placing the sword on a special stone there, the door of the other world can be opened. There we can go to Odin and can ask Odin to make it human again, but this work is not that easy. This work could be done on just one day. The day used to come once a year and it was going to be after four days from today. They had to reach that island within four days. Halvar's son also wanted to go with them, but Halvar says you are too young and can't come with us, but his son was as stubborn as him and he came secretly in a ship. 
On the other hand, we see that while following a ship, his enemy has also come close to him. He sees a gold statue on Halvar's ship from binoculars. Seeing this, he finds out that Halvar has found a way to wield a magical sword. Now this man did not only want to take revenge from Halvar, in fact, he wanted to take the magical sword and the way to wield it along with the gold statue in his ship. Now he comes closer to Halvar's ship and says, give me my sword back, but Halvar cannot give him the sword because with the help of this sword, his wife could become a human. For this sword, a fight begins between the two and Halvar is going to win this fight suddenly. A man of his enemy catches Halvar's son from this ship. Halvar did not even know that his son was also hiding on this ship. Now he had to give this sword to his enemy to save his son, even though he did not want to. As Halvar gives up, the enemy of Halvar takes undue advantage of him and leaves his assistant and his son on an island his ship, his wife who became a gold statue, and the sword takes everything from him. Halvar was angry with his son that all this happened because of him, but Halvar's son was looking for a way to get out of all this. Meanwhile, Halvar's assistant tells Halvar to keep his anger cool and give him a chance maybe his plan will help us. Halvar's son, using his sharp mind, makes a boat out of the broken things there on which they leave for their enemy's island. Halvar knew that his enemy must have gone to Pirate Island because that is his home and he sells his stolen things there. It is true that according to Halvar's thinking, the enemy of Halvar is at the same place, but the people of this island were not letting him go inside because he had a lot of debt on him. To pay off his debt, he sells the statue of Halvar's wife to them. They had never seen such a huge gold statue. With this statue, not only did this man's debt break, but his rule began on this island. Now this man becomes greedy and using the magic of the sword, he turns everything of his companions into gold. Now we are shown Halvar and all his companions who have now reached this pirate island. Now, because Halvar's enemy had become a kind of king here, there was a lot of security around him. Halvar, who wanted to go to him and take that sword, seemed impossible now. Meanwhile, Halvar's son gets another idea and he tells everyone that why don't we move inside as dancers. His idea works and they get the entry inside. Now, because they were dancers, they had to dance in front of the enemy of Halvar and the enemy of Halvar liked a lot. While dancing, Halvar's son saw his mother too. He was going to take her, but in the meantime, another man picked her up from there. His son follows his mother's statue and sees that those people are going to cut his mother's statue. While dancing here, everyone also finds out that these disguised people are none other than Halvar and his companion. As they know this, a new fight begins between Halvar and his enemy. This fight is won by Halvar this time, and he has also taken the sword from his enemy. In this scene, we are again shown Halvar's son and his wife. Halvar's son is trying to save his mother, but this man has caught Halvar's son, and now he is going to kill Halvar's son. In the meantime, he sees that Halvar and all his companions have come here to save them. Finally, they get the sword, also won, and also get their boat back. Halvar comes back to the same boat with his son and his wife, and they finally, towards the island where all their problems would have been solved. The problems on the way are not less because Halvar's enemy is again behind them. While in front of them is a sea storm, if they had turned back, they would have been caught by Halvar's enemy and if they had gone ahead, they would have gotten stuck in the storm. Meanwhile, Halvar's son says to move forward the storm will save us, but everyone thinks it's nonsense, but they go ahead. The storm increases so much that they now see water all around them, as if the waves of water have come over their boat. Halvar's son says, don't be afraid, these waves will take us out of here. According to him, the storm took them out of here and left them on the same island as their destination. This island is made of ice and not everyone was able to climb it. Halvar's assistant and Halvar's son both climb it and reach a place from where the door of the other world has to be opened. This is the door of the world of Odin. This boy says to Halvar's son, put the sword of Odin in this hole. Halvar's son asks, what will happen if you do this? The boy says that if you do this, your mother will be saved. As he said this, he pushed Halvar's son, and he fell to the other side while that sword is now in its right place. We see that gold has started to come out from all sides, and all the cracks here are filled with gold water, and the door of the other world has also opened. When this boy goes near the sword, we see that this boy is actually the son of Odin. In anger, Odin turned him into a human and sent him to this world. At this point, 
He tells Halvor's son that because of the curse given by his father, I could not touch the sword before, nor could I use the magic of the sword, but now because of you. I can do all this because now my curse has broken and now no one can stop me from turning this world into gold. Here we see that Halvar has also somehow come up. He does not see the gold on the ground and by mistake, he steps onto a layer of gold and because of it, his foot is completely made of gold. He cannot move his foot, so he fell and in this way, now his hand is also made of gold. After seeing all this, Halvor's son realized that he has to walk here very carefully. Then he sees the squirrel who always lived with this sword. He remembers that the magic of the sword does not work on this squirrel, and this squirrel is now walking on gold and not turning into gold. Halvor's son now picks up this boy and throws him at the door of Odin's world. The squirrel adapts the form of Odin's second son. It turns out that Odin had given a curse to his second son and made a squirrel, and then he sent him to this world, just like he had made his eldest son a human. As we already know that there was always a fight between these two brothers even this time, when these two came face to face, the fight begins between them. This boy who was made of squirrel was named Thor. As he hits his brother's sword with his hammer, the sword falls from his hand and reaches the sky. Halvor's son jumps to take it, but in all this, he was about to fall into the lava of fire. Then Halvor means his dad saves him. Here he tells his son to throw the sword in the lava of fire because this sword is the root of all the fights. Halvor's son listens to his dad and throws the sword. It is shown here that Odin's sons are still fighting. Meanwhile, Odin comes here and takes his sons back to his world. The door of Odin's world is closed again. Halvar and his son are seeing all this as they see all this. They come down and see that his enemy has captured all his companions and made them slaves. Then suddenly there was an earthquake in this place. This island was also about to end, and all the people were trying to escape from here. The enemy of Halvar had also kidnapped Halvar's golden statue wife and was about to take her from there. Meanwhile, Halvar's son tells him, Dad, she is taking my mother. In order to save his wife, he becomes passionate and we see that his golden hands and feet have recovered again. He runs and beats his enemies a lot meanwhile. His wife also becomes a human again because the magical sword with which she was made of gold, that magical sword is over with the end of that sword. Its magic is also over. At the end of the story, it is shown that Halvar defeated all his enemies and because of the recovery of Halvar's wife, his family also became a happy family again. The dream of Halvar's son to become the captain of the Viking ship means the captain of his father's ship has now fulfilled. The first captain chosen by Halvar was actually the son of Odin, who was not a human and now he has got rid of him. Everyone is happy like this. Those people have now returned to their home and are living their lives with great joy.